Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. True Gamer For Reals here for you once again. And today I'm gonna show you quickly how to force 120 hertz on virtual desktop and on any PC VR game. Uh, really, it's pretty simple. Um, if you've already forced the version 28 update, which is required and you will need to have in order to even have 120 hertz to be enabled on your quest, uh, for any of the, this to work. So make sure you do have the version 28 already on your quest, uh, or quest two, should I say. If you do not, I will leave a link in the description of how to force uh, download that update uh, if you are interested. If not, this video uh, was pretty much useless unless you have that update. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your Quest 2 is plugged into your actual PC. Uh, once that is plugged in, you want to go ahead and power it on. And once it is powered on, you want to make sure that you allow uh, the debugging for your PC to actually uh, read it. So next, you want to go ahead and use your ADB program. So if you do not have ADB, you're going to use the link below to download that and install it. Uh, once that is installed, all you need to do is come down to your Windows search and type CMD and hit enter for the command prompt. Also, the link in the description is going to be the code that you are going to paste here. Uh, that is going to enable 120 hertz on your Quest 2. You can also do this if you have SideQuest uh, by just running the command prompt in SideQuest and basically pasting the same uh, command line in. Uh, once that is in there, you just hit enter and that should pretty much be it for you um, as far as your Quest 2 goes. Now, what you're gonna do is go ahead and open up your web browser and you are going to want to download uh, the link that I have, which is going to be the virtual desktop uh, streamer app for the PC. And that is for version 1.20.4. Um, that is considered the beta version of virtual desktop. And what that does, it allows you to actually um, have all of the new features that the virtual desktop uh, allows for the 120 hertz. So once you have that, make sure you go ahead and install it and launch it. Uh, then you'll see that it is 1.2.4 down here in the left-hand corner. Uh, that lets you know that you do have that virtual desktop streamer for your PC up to date with the beta version. Next thing you wanna do is go ahead and open up your web browser to the Oculus Store, the virtual desktop app itself. And once again, all these links will be down in the description, but you're going to want to scroll down until you see versions plus release notes. And you also want to make sure that you are logged in uh, on the actual website uh, before this works. So once you're back down at release versions, you want to make sure you click this little arrow and switch it to uh, the beta 1.2.4.0. All right, and you'll see this little um, asterisk or arrow or whatever you wanna call it loading happen. Um, you'll see it right there, it's real quick. Uh, that makes sure that you select it, that you did select it. And what that does is it makes sure that the beta version is now available for your account on the Quest headset itself. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into the headset itself, and I'll show you some video of what to do next. All right, now that we are in the actual Quest 2 headset itself, uh, you wanna go ahead and click on your store. Then you want to go ahead and click search in the top right. And then you wanna type in virtual desktop, or it should be a quick check right there. Uh, you know, quick select for, you know, whatever you, you want to type in there for virtual desktop since it is a uh, recently searched thing and a lot of people search it. Just go ahead and click go. And what it's going to do is bring you to your apps here. Uh, you want to select virtual desktop, then you want to select view details. Now, 
Because of what you selected on the website on your computer for the beta version, it should say update now right here. Okay, mine says start because I've already updated it, but you just wanna make sure that it says update. You wanna click update, and then obviously it is going to update for you to that version, the beta version 1.20.4, okay? Uh, once you have that, just go ahead and click start, and that's going to start your virtual desktop for you, okay? Now, everything will be running properly on virtual desktop, uh, if you have your virtual desktop streamer on your PC running, which you should, because uh, during the tutorial we did not close it. If it's not running, make sure you go back on your PC and put your streamer back on. So then what you want to do is hold your left, click your left Oculus button on your left controller, and you want to go to settings, I'm sorry, streaming, and then change it to 120 frames per second right there. And that is it. That's all you have to do. All right. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing else you really need to do. It's all right there for you. No big deal. Um, then you can go ahead and click launch Steam VR. And we will show you that these games are running at 120 hertz. So once Steam VR launches, which you know it, it's probably going to take a little bit here. You can pretty much just click on your Steam VR in the top left corner and then go to show performance graph and you can see here now on the desktop that yes, we are running at 120 hertz on and through your quest onto Steam VR. Now you can play any game like this in 120 hertz. And that is literally pretty much it. That's all you guys have to do. Uh, if this video helped you out, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It would greatly, greatly help the channel. And I appreciate it. Also, it helps you enter in to win the free giveaways. Uh, other than that, Thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great night.